Thank you, everybody, for being here at Bocconi. And uh, so today we, um, we are very lucky to have Tim Harf Harford. And thank you, Gianmario, for this kind introduction. So um, Tim is the undercover economist, uh, and so, but he's not much undercover anymore in Milan after having been here quite a bit recently. And so, um, and he has a lot of connections here in Italy, so we want him to be even cl more closely tied to us. So, um, Tim is trained as an economist, uh, and uh, so we, we went for dinner recently when he was here, and he was telling me about, in a sense, how he, he became a journalist and a writer. So, he uh, studied uh, PPE, which is philosophy, politics, and economics at Oxford, and then he also worked at Shell, um, and then he, uh, he started writing, uh, you know, hopefully I'm cor correcting this, recounting the story he told me, this book, this uh, Undercover Economist, the eponymous book, uh, wh while working in the evening, and so then he developed this interest in writing, and then he did also his master, master of Science in Economics at uh, Oxford, and actually there he worked under the supervision of, uh, of um, one uh, really great economist, uh, Paul Klemper, whom I know very well, who himself is a great, great writer. He's somebody who's a great scientist, but also a great writer. So I think one of the maybe undertext of today that uh, innovations, uh, in my view, are, uh, you know, it's not enough to come up with something new. It's also very important to explain to the others, to the users, uh, what you're doing. And so I think Tim, uh, you know, has a great role in a sense. He does explain innovative ideas also in economics and makes them available. And so now we can really use those ideas. And so, uh, you know, uh, we're very happy to have him. So now he will introduce a bit the book that uh, he has been translating into Italian, uh, 50 Things uh, That Made the Modern Economy. And, uh, and then we'll, I'll introduce the panel shortly.